What's up everybody, it's Kyle from RR Buildings and welcome to the Week in Review. Hey everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Sarah. As we slowly recover from Milwaukee overload, we take a look this week at Stand Down for Safety. Toolbox Buzz tries to measure up and Ryobi gets ready for Mother's Day. This is Friday, May 11th, and this is your Cop Tool Week in Review. While some of us were checking out all the hoopla in Milwaukee this week, others were at the Offshore Technology Conference in Houston, Texas. This event featured a number of amazing power tools for the nuclear, offshore oil, and natural gas industries. Hilti showed off their amazing bespoke wire saw, designed specifically for large decommissioning projects, or tearing stuff down in layman's terms. These diamond wire saws can cut through anything, made of steel or reinforced concrete. Hey Hilti, happy to have a test unit we can review? We have a large decommissioned block of cheese we'd like to try it on. If you've been online at all in the past few days, you've been flooded with a sea of red Milwaukee tool updates. The team here at CopTool has been posting regular videos all week and we're not the only ones. RR Buildings posted a great recap of the event and Murray from Kruger Construction shared a video of the new Milwaukee circular saw in action. Before we left, we took a moment to ask Murray and the Concord Converter what he liked most about the event. We can sit on hey, the slab. So we're back. Like it's the end of the day. We're all uh, slab happy and we just want to find out what you think of it. It was really good. Lots of stuff. Yeah, Every year they just, yeah, they come out with so much stuff outside of the box that other companies aren't even thinking of, we're not even yeah. thinking of, and then no. they show it to us and it's like, yeah, that makes sense, right? And it's really good. Lots of really good stuff. Awesome. Innovation. What do you think? So I, I'm always amazed at how they take a completely mundane, everyday hand tool, for instance, yeah. and then they innovate the crap out of it. They yeah. just, they figure out, I'm trying not to swear on your show. No. Yeah, yeah, it is a classy um, show. So it's a classy show, Jay's a classy guy. But they really do, they make it more efficient, they make uh, they make it easy to use, and it always surprises me. Like, for instance, the, the M12 rivet tool. Oh, yeah. The rivet, the rivet gun is a miserable tool to use. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's, it sucks, basically, right? So they took it, they made an M12 tool, it's fast, it's efficient, Pretty powerful. Yeah. I loved it. So, and this show, great show every year. This week, Snap On Tools, makers of fine tools and tool storage solutions, announced a new color to their lineup of toolboxes. At this point, I'm just glad it's not red. Snap On has dubbed it Supersonic Blue. They posted a slick video of the new color demonstrated on their Master Series Roll Cabs, a 54 inch model with 10 drawers. Snap On says this color will be available for a number of their tool storage models over the coming months. I haven't seen blue steel this piercing in a long time. Not even close. In other news, Toolnot posted a quick video of the new DeWalt 60 volt max brushless 9 inch cutoff saw, the first of its kind. We had a chance to try the saw ourselves at this year's World of Concrete and we're just as anxious to get one of our own. It's slated to be released later this summer, just long enough for Toolnut's leg hairs to grow back after that demo. Go ahead and check that out on Instagram at Toolnut. Tools of the Trade posted a review of the all new Super Saw Squatch, a jumbo sized beam saw capable of cutting through 6 and 3 8 inch timbers in a single pass. Skill Saw claims this two handed beast to be the biggest worm drive saw on earth, capable of tearing through whatever you throw at it. Mike gives us a detailed review of this bad boy, so if you're considering a purchase, make sure to go read this first at toolsofthetrade.net. Wow, your breath is terrible. Have you been eating beef jerky? This week was National Stand Down for Safety Week, OSHA's effort to emphasize job site safety, highlighting fall hazards and fall safety. The hashtag Stand Down for Safety was trending across multiple media platforms. The U.S. Department of Labor posted a quick video on the five ways to prevent workplace falls, and the New York Department of Labor also posted a video on realities of workplace falls. Did you know that falls account for 37% of deaths in construction industry? And one in three falls happen from heights of only 15 feet or less. So go check out the videos in the link below and check out the hashtag stand down for safety online. In other news, the fellows over at Toolbox Buzz have been working on an extremely detailed comparison of tape measures. That's right, seven different 25 foot models to be exact, including DeWalt, Klein, Milwaukee, Two different Stanley models, Lufkin and Tajima. They looked at 13 different areas, seriously, including ergonomics, recoil, construction, and more. Want to know how they measured up? 
You can find out by reading their blog post at toolboxbuzz.com or you can watch their video on YouTube. All right, guys, don't forget this weekend is Mother's Day, and to celebrate the occasion, Ryobi has started an online contest called Ryobi Super Mom. Post a pic or video of a mom or mom figure that you admire and tag it with hashtag Ryobi Super Mom and hashtag contest for a chance to win Ryobi tools and swag. We'd like to nominate Suzanne Amstutz, our very own Super Mom, here at Cop Tool. Happy Mother's Day! Super Mom! What is this? Guys, as of this moment, we have 9,878 subscribers on YouTube, which means we are likely to hit the big 10K this week. And we want to celebrate you with this DeWalt 20 volt portable bandsaw. Keep an eye on our subscriber number this week. After we hit 10K, post a screenshot of our channel to Instagram and you could win this beauty. Just tag your photo, hashtag CopTool10,000, and we'll randomly choose a winner from the submissions. Have you posted something great that we need to see? Let us know in the comments below so we can feature it next week. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook so you don't miss a single episode of your Cop Tool Week in Review. And don't forget guys, this Sunday is Mother's Day, so call your mom. Happy Mother's Day! Love you mom!